Hello everybody, my name is Cryptic and welcome back to another video. So quite a few of you guys have seen my Luke Skywalker killstreaks on this channel. And as a result of this, a few of you guys have asked me if I can do a tips and tricks video on how to use Luke Skywalker on Battlefront. Now out of all the hero pickups you can use, Luke is probably the most versatile, however you guys need to watch out because he is the most susceptible to damage, so uh, avoiding those shots and avoiding those uh, sticky spots is very important when using this character. So the first tip I'm going to give you guys is probably the most important one you're going to hear today. Now as you guys know, Luke can jump a lot higher than the ordinary characters and also he's very very quick uh, when jumping in the air in comparison to Darth Vader or Palpatine as they sort of glide, which can be a bit of a disadvantage, however Luke is very quick, so you need to utilize this to your advantage. Now Luke's jump can either be used offensively or defensively. So let me explain this, if you're attacking multiple enemies using Luke's jump is a very good way in which to distract people, a good way uh, in which to throw them off uh, because it's very hard to aim at a moving target. Now this is the most important part, when you guys are jumping with Luke always use your force when you're in mid-air. Now the reason I say this is because you still have that fluidity, you still have that movement, whereas if you're static and you use the force it can actually stop you, making you a still an easy target to hit. So make sure you use the force push whilst you're jumping in the air. It also allows you to take multiple enemies out from above. On the contrary, if we look at the defensive way in which it can be used, it's quite self-explanatory. You guys can use it to jump away from ordinary players because they don't actually have their jetpack ability available to them all the time and you can use it to sort of dodge bullets and stuff like that. Now the next thing I'm going to give you guys is for those of you that want to stay as the hero character for as long as possible, get as many kills and also preserve the hero's health. So as I mentioned earlier, Luke is very susceptible to damage and loses health quickly. So a way in which to avoid this is to get behind enemy lines. Now you can do this by using his natural sprinting ability. Now as you guys know, Luke is probably the fastest character in the game so you need to utilize that and make sure that you're getting behind enemy lines, staying on the edges of the map taking the long routes, even if you don't want to, you can use the sprinting ability, it doesn't take too long. So this will make sure that you're taking enemies out from behind, you're not actually facing multiple enemies up front, having to avoid their bullets, having to deflect their bullets, and putting yourself in bad situations. So the main tip is use the sprinting ability to flank ground and take out enemies either from the side or from behind. Now as I'm sure many of you guys are aware, when you become a hero you tend to get targeted. This is because you have a substantial advantage over the enemy opponents and it can become annoying when you continuously take them out in the same areas. Also in addition to this, you are a solid red dot on the minimap pretty much all the time, so you're very easy to spot. Especially if you're using a Sith or a Jedi such as Luke or Darth Vader, having a lightsaber out can be spotted a mile off. So this tip is to keep your lightsaber sheath um, as often as possible and you can do this, you can deactivate your lightsaber by pressing down on the D-pad. This will allow you to flank around the sides of the map without being spotted and it will also stop you from being heard coming up from behind and taking out multiple enemies. Now Luke's Saber Rush ability is probably one of my favourites, now the reason being it is very advantageous to you. However you need to make sure you're using it in the right manner and not to waste it. So one of the first tips I can give you guys is use it in order to close gaps between you and enemies to stop you from getting hit from a medium to long range by their blaster or rifle. You can also use this power up to clear rooms and enemies that are in confined space because it does actually have quite a large uh, damage radius so it is very useful in small areas. Another advantage of this ability is you're actually moving very quickly so it's a lot harder to shoot you so it's a good way in which you can use it defensively in fact to get away from sticky situations such as being hunted down by an ATST which you guys need to avoid or a multitude of enemies. Another way in which you guys can utilize the dash ability is getting enemies that are slightly out of reach. Now you may have noticed when you're playing as Luke, some people try and get high up and shoot you from above. Now sometimes you can't reach the areas in which they are because they've used their jetpack to get there. So you can actually use the dash to jump, aim upwards and take them out. Alright guys, so the next tip I'm going to give you is about Luke's ability called Heavy Attack. Now when you actually use this ability, Luke goes into a sort of animation. Now this is quite a big disadvantage, especially if you're surrounded by a lot of enemies. Now the reason I say this is because whilst you activated this ability, people can shoot at you whilst you're spinning around and you're not actually very accurate when you're using it. So make sure you guys only use that against other heroes such as Darth Vader or Palpatine. Now the next tip I'm going to give you guys is to completely avoid the other heroes on the map. Now the reason I say this is because the other heroes can deal a lot of damage. On average they take around 40% of your health away if not taking you out, dependent on the opponent you're playing against. So for those of you that want to stay alive for long, preserve as much health as possible and get a long kill streak, I would avoid all the other heroes at all costs. Now there's nothing more annoying than playing as a hero and suddenly losing health and you don't know why. So here are a few things you guys need to avoid when playing as Luke. 
So the first thing I'd say for you guys to avoid is try and get away from people using pulse cannons. If you hear someone charging one up, if you see someone charging one up, you need to get out of there as quick as possible. Now, most importantly, you guys need to avoid the AT-ATs and the ATSTs. More so the ATSTs because they can chase you down because they can sprint quite quickly. They've also got very powerful guns and quite long range rockets, etc. So you need to avoid those at all costs. Also, you guys need to make a note if somebody's in the AT-80 because the damage from them can be catastrophic as well. So you need to make sure you avoid those power-ups. Now, the next thing I tell you guys to avoid when playing as Luke is too many enemies. The reason I say this is because the block ability that Luke has doesn't actually last that long and it can be overcome with multiple shots. So if you guys think about number, then use the other techniques to run away and uh, sort of approach the situation from a different angle. Now another tip for when you guys are using Luke is to make sure you play in small and closed areas. Now the reason I say this is because if Luke can't find cover pretty quickly, your health is also going to go down at quite a fast rate. So playing in confined and small spaces is very advantageous and it also maximizes the capability of Luke's abilities. Another tip I give you guys is don't be impatient. If you're in a sort of a changeover area of the map, say the uplink is changing or something like that, you don't need to run out and get enemy and try and kill enemies because the spawns are going to push back. So if you can retreat and just sit there for, you know, 30 seconds or so, then it'll allow you to rethink your strategy and approach that area of the map in a different way. Now, one of the last tips I'm going to give you about Luke is very important. Now, as you guys know, you can actually use the lightsaber to deflect bullets and stop them from hitting you and you can also use them to take out enemies with the deflected bullets. Now the secret to this ability is using it in the right situation in the right way. So let me explain this. There are three different ways in which the lightsaber deflection can be used. The first way is in order to uh, deflect bullets and kill an enemy from their deflected shots. Now I'd only recommend using it if you're against one enemy. The second way is using it in order to stop bullets from hitting you and quickly run away and get out of the situation. Now the third and final way in which this defense mechanism can be used is in order to uh, deflect bullets whilst walking towards an enemy or two enemies and taking them out with another power up or a uh, lightsaber strike. Okay guys, so that's it for me today. Hopefully these tips have helped you out and you can apply them when playing as Luke Skywalker on Battlefront. Now I've been reading a lot of your comments and you guys have been asking for a hero pickup locations video. Now I am actually currently working on that, I just need to gather a few more locations before I can actually release that to you guys. So that should be coming within the next couple of weeks. Also if you guys want to see a more specific video on how to use Luke on certain maps such as Junland Wastes or Endor, I can do that as well. If you guys can just let me know down below, that would be great. So that's it for me, hopefully this has helped you out. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.